The Optimist Creed is a great guide to the spirit of being an optimist. But actually being an optimist? That takes work. But why is being an optimist so important? Optimism allows you to see opportunities others miss. It makes you healthier, encourages you to try new things, and inspires the people around you. Optimism can decrease depression and anxiety. It makes you happier. In this lesson, we will discuss what it means to be an optimist and how you can become one. More importantly, we will cover the Optimist Creed, a 100-year-old guide on what it means to be a true optimist. Here it goes. The Optimist Creed by Christian D. Larson. I promise myself to be so strong that nothing can disturb my peace of mind to talk health, happiness, and prosperity to every person I meet, to make all my friends feel that there is something worthwhile in them, to look at the sunny side of everything and make my optimism come true, to think only of the best, to work only for the best, and to expect only the best, to be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as I am about my own. To forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievements of the future. To wear a cheerful expression at all times and give a smile to every living creature I meet. To give so much time to improving myself that I have no time to criticize others. To be too large for worry, too noble for anger, too strong for fear, and too happy to permit the presence of trouble. To think well of myself and to proclaim this back to the world, not in loud words, but in great deeds. To live in the faith that the whole world is on my side, so long as I am true to the best that is in me. Many people think of a glass half full when thinking about optimism. While there is some truth in this idea, optimists are not passive people standing around holding a glass half full of water. We're filling the glass with ice cubes, maybe even adding some fruit slices, and enjoying a cold drink. We recognize the issues and problems around us, and then we get to work, taking action to improve our situation. This positive action is a hallmark of an optimist. Does that match up with your initial thoughts? Let's take a closer look at Christian Larson's Optimist Creed for some more background. Intention number one, promise to be so strong that nothing can disturb your peace of mind. Well, it may be a little much to ask us to promise that nothing disturb our peace of mind. There's a big difference between the things we can control and the things we cannot control. We cannot choose the challenges and difficulties of life. We can choose our emotional responses and therefore our peace of mind. Intention number two, promise to talk health, happiness, and prosperity to every person you meet. We can profoundly influence others for good with subtle and simple words. We can speak of uplifting things and talk about ideas that matter, believing that others will come to embrace them simply because they matter. Focus on the good around you and make mention of it. Leave those around you feeling better than how you found them. Intention number three, promise to make all your friends feel that there is something worthwhile in them. Words hold incredible power. How you choose to wield them is up to you. We can do so much to inspire the belief in others that they have something amazing inside them, waiting to spring to life and grow into something truly extraordinary. Look for that potential in others and use the power of your words to inspire action. Intention number four, promise to look at the sunny side of everything 
and make your optimism come true. An optimist is not exempt from suffering, pain, and misfortune, nor do they pretend these things do not exist. The difference is their approach to challenges and problems. The sunny side of a problem is its solution. It is seeing opportunities in challenges and growth in trials. Intention number five, promise to think only of the best, to work only for the best, and to expect only the best. Our minds thrive and grow in nurturing environments. When you fill your mind with the best and most positive thoughts, you become capable of reaching what you hunger for most in life. And positive thinking leads to taking positive action towards your goals. Intention number six, promise to be just as enthusiastic about the success of others as you are about your own. Optimists have an abundance mentality. They do not believe that for every dollar someone else makes, there is one less for them. Instead, they remain open to celebrate everyone's success. And when there is a collective effort to strive for success, we become better positions to create it. Intention number seven, promise to forget the mistakes of the past and press on to the greater achievements of the future. Focus your concentration on doing, on taking action, on becoming. This leaves little time to dwell on mistakes and disappointments from the past. Optimists see life by way of its potential more than its losses, its possibility more than its reality, its opportunity more than its history. Intention number eight, promise to give so much to improving yourself that you have no time to criticize others. Part of personal growth is seeking out ways to improve weaknesses. Optimists are always working toward being their very best and a weakness is no more than an opportunity for more personal growth. Intention number nine, promise to be too large for worry, too noble for anger, too strong for fear, and too happy to permit the presence of trouble. Remain focused on the things that are within your circle of control. Reduce anger by continuing to seek solutions and taking action to honor your feelings, experiences, and thoughts. Know that you can accomplish great things. Realize the power of your mindset. You get to choose to react in a positive way. Intention number 10, promise to think well of yourself and to proclaim this back to the world, not in loud words, but in great deeds. Of all the intentions within the creed, this is perhaps the most important. By committing to thinking of ourselves in a loving, compassionate way, we create the pathways for peace, growth, and success. Our actions will inspire others. And in this way, the spirit of the optimist thrives. At this time, you will begin working on your own version of the Optimist Creed. This has been adapted from the original and includes a line for your signature and date at the bottom of the template. We encourage you to consider what it means to truly be an optimist, how you can manifest positivity into your life, and what actions you will take to nurture your mind and spirit. Let's pause the video now so you can write your own creed of optimism. Once you've completed your creed, please share your writing with a table mate. We encourage you to place your creed somewhere visible as a reminder of the power of positivity.